So we know that you're a professional bank robber. How long have you been doing this? I've been doing this for about three years. Can you tell us more about that experience? Well, for the past three years, you know, uh, it's been a wild ride, very wild ride. Uh, very unexpected twists and turns have been. Uh, things that you may have not accounted for, um, certain excessive risks taken, um, great leaps of faith. Um, takes a lot of perseverance, uh, the nerves. One thing about it, it's not for the weak. Your nerves, heart pumping, adrenaline, you sweat it. Your ass cl cheeks clenched, you know what I mean? Shake your wicked. It's nice and it's a wild ride Thank for you a selection from Audible. Alexa. Resuming the power of now. Okay, I'm sure. Alexa, stop. Damn it. Sweating bullets, man. You just, um, highs and lows, the, the pure excitement, the pure thrill, the pure addiction that you get. Um, I wouldn't trade it for the world, though. Something very intense, something very crazy. Um, something that you really have to get in the trenches, get your feet wet, get your hands dirty. If you really want to get on to the next level, if you really want to do this shit, this shit take real balls. It ain't no folding, it ain't no, no, no stuttering. When it's time to get out, it's time to get out. You get that bag and you dip. You don't stay no longer than necessary. It's time limits on this shit. Take advantage of it. We see you hit for 20,000 in two hours. Can you tell us more about that? Sometimes things happen a little bit quicker than anticipated. Things get a little volatile, you know. The, the stakes are raised, the adrenaline is pumping. Um, a new plate comes across your desk and it's up to you to figure out, is this appropriate risk and am I willing to take this risk to get to this level? So, I was trading US 30, and I got that bitch for everything she's worth. Let's just keep it there, keep it real simple. So you talk about the adrenaline, and you talk about the intense things that happens. How do you deal with those emotions? Yeah, um, in a moment, you know, I just tell myself, Trying to rush through the process is only going to get me clipped in the end. So go in clear-minded. Always have a clear-minded. You cannot go in emotionally. You cannot execute emotionally. You look clear, concise. You follow your rules. You execute and you get the fuck on. You do not play around. You do not get too excited. When that bag hit, do not get too excited. You take the bag and you go and you move on to the next move. So how does finding these moves or plays as you call them happen? Well, for me, you know, in this game, you gotta be a predator, you gotta be a hunter. You just gotta sit back. You gotta wait for your prey to come and fall into your trap and then you attack. So I may sit out for a day, I may sit out for a week, I may sit out for a month, doesn't matter. They always seem to find their way into one of my traps. I have many, I set them up many different ways. Now, once they get to the trap and I see them, shit, ain't nothing left to do but eat my meal. So have you ever had a failed play? Oh yeah, I mean, whatever game you play, it's gonna be winners, or gonna be losers. You're not gonna win every single match that you play. You play basketball, you know you may win best two out of three, but guess what, overall, who's the winner? You won two, they won one. Come on now, you still win at the end of the day. As long as my wins are bigger than my losses, not always able to 
Go ahead and hit them bitches and get up out as smooth as you thought you would. That might grab your leg. You gotta just fight them off. Bitch, bitch, and get the fuck off. But guess what? It's always gonna be a new play. It's always gonna be a new move. You just find another one. You execute. And you just fuck it. Fuck it. The losses are non relevant. So, what's a loss to a fat win? You know? Just keep on looking. You'll find another one. Just don't always expect them to go your way. But that's why we think we, we take calculated, high probability, high reward risks. Or we try not to take them at all. Sometimes you might get a little greedy in your finger. You want to reach into the cookie jar like, hey, stop. Don't do it. Take what you know is high probability, high reward, good risk. Do not be sloppy in this game. That's where they want you to fuck up. You have to outthink the rats. The rats always get trapped. You see the cheese they put in front of you? The cheese look good, don't it? Don't fall for it. So you talked about greed. Is that a common thing that you see? Oh yeah, absolutely. Probably one of the number one things that I see is that we just want more. Like, you just, every guy, he just wants more, he wants more. You give him this, you give him that, he just wants more. So, ultimately, the greed effect definitely sets in the play, and that seems to be one of the biggest killers in the game. So, a guy may get 30000 out of a lick, but he wants 100000 but he wasn't meant to make that 100000 You were only meant to stick with that thirty for that moment. But you try to push for the 100 and you lost everything you had. You have to understand, know when to get in, know when to get out. When you feel in that crave of more and more and more, then you can know that the greed effect has set in and it is immediately time to get the fuck out. Do not wait, do not contemplate, do not look at more to eat on your plate. Get the fuck out and escape and you'll be great. That's all I have to say about that. Next question. Have you robbed the bank back to back? Oh, many, 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 many times every day. Robbing the bank back to back, but that's where things get a little tricky. We call that a winner's high. You hit, you hit again, you hit again. You know, you may hop on GBP, JPY, and uh, the bitch just go 50 pips, 60 pips. You're in, you're out, you're in, you're out, you're blue, 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 blue. Huh? Oh shit. He just feels like you fucking jacked up on that shit, man. He's like, woo! I'm gonna do it, I can do it. I'm just hitting, I'm hitting. I mean, you feel fucking amazing. But then you forget. You're fucked up in the mind now. You think you're unstoppable. You think you're invincible. Then you get humbled really quick. Fat loss or something blow your account or something or you take a small loss and you want that loss back and you chase that loss and you get a bigger loss so when you are hitting back to back you need to understand your composure stick to your rules if you stick to your rules and it's fine you're hitting back to back to back but don't let those wins consume you do not let the wins consume you For others that may be interested, what advice would you give to them? Um, I would never give anyone advice to rob a bank. But hypothetically, I would say one of the best decisions you can make first and foremost is get you a mentor because you're not gonna be able to do this alone. And personally, one of the best mentors you're going to get is probably over here at Pit Precision Academy. So, you want to go the easy way, you want to go the hard way, you want to walk in, I know what you're doing, 
and get fucked. We wanna know exactly how to get the fuck in and get the fuck out successfully. If you don't wanna do it, I don't know what I can tell you. That's my best advice.